Up until the mid-1960s, there was no federal agency that had the overall responsibility for overseeing human clinical research and the protection of human subjects in clinical studies in the United States. Although there were several significant events that had occurred outside of the United States, including the Nuremberg Code of 1947, the Declaration of Geneva the following year in 1948, and the Helsinki Declaration of 1964, no oversight within the United States was in existence. However, a significant event that occurred in the early 1960s was the human experimentation of a drug called thalidomide. Thalidomide was a drug that had been in use in Europe and was under human experimentation in the United States. It's been estimated that over 1,000 physicians prescribed thalidomide and, unfortunately, one of the serious adverse outcomes in taking thalidomide was the effect of the drug on fetuses with regard to muscular skeletal formation. As a result of this experience, the citizens of the United States had a general outcry and need for oversight of human clinical studies in the United States, and in 1962, Congress and the President enacted an amendment to the existing Food and Drug Cosmetic Act. This amendment, for the first time, required patient-informed consent to receive a new drug as part of a clinical study. This amendment was specific to drugs, and at that time, in the mid-1960s, no medical devices were regulated by the FDA. Three of the four principal parts of the U.S. FDA that are held responsible for the Bioresearch Monitoring Program and are located on the centralized U.S. FDA campus are the Office of Good Clinical Practices, the Office of Regulatory Affairs, the Center for Devices and Radiological Health, which is, of course, the center specific to the regulation of medical devices. The fourth part of the BIMO program is the regional district offices that house the BIMO coordinators investigators. They functionally report to the Office of Regulatory Affairs, but are located throughout the United States and actually carry out the inspections of the clinical study investigators, laboratories, and IRBs.